Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on the time and location, you are tuned to this IUAAG Grand Disbursement Update. Uh, Admin Rio have come to give us update on, uh, you know, last week a lot of things transpired. A lot of things transpired. And the uh, Massive Freedom Movement, MFM, had a meeting which they were talking about the database and uh, what uh, the way forward because on Friday marked the beginning of uh, these uh, long holidays so everything was pushed towards Tuesday so as at yesterday night admin Rio came out to uplift us and give us info enough intel of that is going to uh, uh, today evening which is Tuesday that a lot of things will unfold and they will give us the feedback of the quest they undertook and way forward and uh, about uh, Ken submitting the database or not submitting the database so just listen to him we'll see at the end of the of his uh, briefing enough is enough Good evening, ladies and gentlemen in Grant's community. This is Admin Rio from the platform of Masses Freedom Movement. I come your way to say Happy Easter to everyone. And may the Lord make your new month ahead a better one. I want to seize this opportunity just to say one or two things. And I shall come your way again tomorrow. And one of the things I like to talk about is to say that uh, following the last emergency meeting outcome of the Masses Freedom Movement, which we highlighted issues with database and all of that not being submitted and being the problem, we are following up some things. And tomorrow, I shall come your way again to let you know the direction we have to face because we don't need excuses from anybody at this time. Whoever this ball is in his court, he has to play it in this week. So I, I come your way again tomorrow to let the masses know all pressure and when i say all pressure i mean all pressure should be in a certain direction which is towards the direction of our expectation but let me talk more about it tomorrow so that we could be uh, prepared in case we are taken for granted in any way Nobody should misunderstand who is supposed to make sure disbursement happens. Should not take any form of quietness or silence or muteness to be a reason uh, for the person to be at ease. At this time, we don't understand anything like ease. We have been slighted we have been lied to and um, at this point we are not going to lift a pin apart from putting pressure to get what we came to grant community to get thank you and good evening so guys that is a uh, admin real telling us what to expect so this is a uh, tuesday so we we'll just uh, keep our fingers crossed and wait towards the ending of the working day or any time. You just be at red alert. Information can come at any time because this month now, let's see the kind of talk they will talk or the kind of excuses they will give because these people have gradually, gradually maintained a regular pattern. At the end of the week, they will keep mute. Then towards the end of the week, they will either attack somebody or send one of their full soldiers to give us rumor either the the federal government say we should sign this document or the disbursement money is in this bank 
or they'll just spread rumor that will keep us occupied till next week. Then ending of the month, there will be a general big bomb share. Either uh, Madam uh, Jennifer Isaac will come out and say something, attacking somebody or or affirming somebody or debunking something, then we, the beneficiaries, will use the matter for the week or for the, the, the long time. Then at the end of the month, there will not be another saga, general saga, that take us to the beginning of uh, the month and the first two weeks of the month. So that's been the general pattern and we've already understood these people. So now, what is on board now? What There are two things on board now which they are using to usher us in into this April month. First one, Ken Wakama have uh, refused to submit the database to the CBN. Secondly, Ostas Dao now has been accused that he's the one this, uh, uh, holding disbursement. So that is the two things of distraction they have given to us this new month. So today being Tuesday now, we want to know what is going on. So that is the two things they have used to destabilize us this month. Ken is not working with the CBN and uh, some UAH executives is proving stubborn. Then Oster Zao has been tagged as a black sheep. He's always been a black sheep. He has started as a black sheep. So guys, so that is the general update now. Then Massive Freedom Movement have taken a bold stand. Now, I'm just giving you a round off of what the last month ended with. So Marty, Massive Freedom Movement scheduled for a press conference. And they are going, first of all, they said they are going to Ken's church to do a mini protest. That's those in Abuja. So they are going to give us their feedback of the going this evening. Then they are going to also give us the way forward towards press conference and protest and how much they have gathered if they have money. Because they said the whole 36 states have to contribute and uh, they have to know how the modalities to send either money or material for the protest in Abuja. So that is the state of affair at this moment. And all these things are happening. And remember also that Ken came out to say that his only 100,000 loan, his only 100,000 money that was given to him and is regarded as loan by beneficiaries that he was not given any money. So that's the general uh, microscopic analysis of where we have come from from last month. So today marks the beginning of a new month as in working week. So let's see what they will tell us or how far they have gone because according to Jennifer Isaac that this month, she did not specifically say it, but according to what she was saying bit around the bush, that this month is a month of disbursement. We pray that disbursement happens this month. So guys, see you at our next update. Bye for now. Remember to subscribe.